Hey everyone, welcome to another episode. Today, I'm gonna to go through how to set up a student's section and more particularly how to set it up with section groups. All right, so let's have a look at our class notebook here. And I'm doing this from the class notebook position. Um, so clicking up the top here, and we're looking here at distribute new section. Now you have two options here. So you have the distribute new section and distribute new section group. So that's the one we wanna click on. And then over on the right, the little wizard's gonna load. And here you can see how the structure starts. So here is where I'm going to write the name of my group or my new section group. So I'm gonna type English in here for my subject. And then underneath, I can basically put the you know, subsections that sit underneath it. So I'm gonna write term one, and then directly underneath it again there, I can add a new section. So I'll put term two, term three, and then we'll put term four. Um, so you can see how it kind of gives us that structure in there. You know, we can delete it if it's wrong. If we need to add more sections, we can just keep going. Otherwise, click just, um, distribute and off it goes. Now you might have to wait a little bit for this to distribute and you might even want to refresh your notebook for that to happen. All right, so here we have is our student test and we can see that English is sitting there and you know, I've got all my terms all the way down to term four and you can see how that is nice and tidy. It folds up on one of each, each other and it's sitting nicely inside my students group. And you know, it's similar to that structure I set up in a teacher only section, but here's a piece of work and I wanna distribute this to my students. So I'm gonna hit distribute page and it's a, from obviously our class notebook tab there. So I'm gonna click on distribute page. My little distribute page wizard is gonna come up and you'll see down the bottom there, there's my new one I've set up, my English one. So I'm going to click on that and there are my folders. So that structure follows through here. So term three, I'm gonna click distribute and off it goes so we can kind of see that it's just gonna go through that process. And you know, I've only got one student in this little test class of mine, so it's going to distribute pretty quickly. Um, so that's taken a copy of that work. And then I'm just going to click here to sync this notebook to speed up that process. But what we're gonna notice here is that that work is going to show up in that exact same format that we set up. So here we go. So here is my test student. I'm going to click on their English sections into term three and there it is there. So I have my English activity that I've set up for them to do in my OneNote and now they can come in here and they can type away. All right guys, I hope you find that useful and we'll see you again soon. Cheers. Don't forget to follow us, give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing and make sure that you write any comments in the comment section in regards to questions you might have or if you have any ideas that you want us to present on. Thanks guys.